and let everything collapse, let everything hang over. Bluesy, gutsy sound. Three, four. Keep the air in, yep, keep the air in, and don't stress it. Matt, how are Hi, you? Hi, Matt, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So now it's your turn. My name is Julia Amasano. I'm the founder of Grace Music Studio, a professional voice studio in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I've been singing for a long time in the arena of pop and jazz and also on the operatic stage. And when I opened Grace Music Studio 11 years ago, my main goal was to help people who didn't think they could sing become pro-level performers. I developed a vocal method that makes learning to sing much easier and faster than it used to be. What I did was I condensed the principles of singing into three simple components. First, let's establish what are the things that hold you back in your singing. I decided to go out and ask a bunch of regular New Yorkers what their vocal problems were, and here's what they had to say. Ah, here comes someone now. Excuse me. Yes. Hi. Do you have any questions? Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Do you have any questions about singing? I'm a singing teacher and I'm just asking random New Yorkers what they what their questions You're are. You're kidding me. I, <laughs> I guess I don't I guess um what what is vibrato? Oh, vibrato. Okay. So vibrato is a natural wavering of the voice box. The voice box actually oscillates up and down naturally once the muscles in the neck and the throat are completely free. So it's not something that you make happen, it's something that happens naturally when you get really free here okay, okay. by using your stomach. Do you sing? Yeah, yes. Awesome. Well, what could I do to develop vibrato? What is, you just have to learn how to use your stomach to support the sound instead of your neck. If your neck is supporting the sound, it makes the voice box not be able to move, not be able to have that oscillation. Excellent, yep. excellent. Yep. I well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks for asking. Nice to meet you. Here comes someone else. Let's ask them. Hi. Hi. I'm Julia. What's your name? Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. We're out here today, and we're asking random New Yorkers if they have questions about singing. Do you happen to have any questions today about singing? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Really? OK, so if I'm, I'm working on my song, yeah, and I've got all the technical stuff down. How do I really invest it with emotion? Ah, that's a great question. How do you sing with emotion? What you want to do is you want to imagine that you're an actor and you want to make emotional choices about each part of the song. You want to break it into parts and then choose an emotion for each part of the song. And then how do you connect to the emotions? You imagine a time that you felt that way in your life and that's how you connect to those emotions for those different sections. Does that answer your question? That's helpful. Okay. Thanks, thanks a lot, Julia. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We have moved to Times Square. Let's see who comes our way next. Hi, sorry, excuse Hi. me. Hi, Hi. my Hello. name is Julia Amasano. Hi, Julia. What's your name? Susan. Hi, Susan. What's going on? <laughs> we're out here today and we're asking random New Yorkers if they have any questions about singing. I'm a voice teacher. Oh, cool. And so I just wondered if you had any questions. Um, about singing in Times Square. Well, I never sang in Times Square. <laughs> But okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, well, I, I'm not a singer, you know, but like most people, I, I like to be able to sing along sometimes. Yeah. And I find because I don't really know how to do it right that it often strains my throat. Ah, uh, okay. So that you want to know how to sing without straining in your throat? That would be great. Yeah. Okay. So that's a common problem. Mm -hmm. What needs to happen instead of using the neck and the throat muscles, you need to transfer the weight into the body. Okay. So you, you want to use your body muscles, your core muscles, okay. your abdominal muscles here to make that sound okay. instead of here. And really it just wow. takes practice. First you have to figure out what it feels like and then you have to practice using these muscles and not using these muscles. Really? Consciously. Yep. And how would I know that? Well you wouldn't unless you went to a voice teacher. Oh, <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad that I met you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for asking that question. It was a great question. Thanks. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. So here we are at 34th Street, Herald Square, right in front of Macy's. 
Let's see who we can find that might have some singing questions here. Oh, there's somebody. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, I'm here today asking random New Yorkers if they have any questions about singing. Do you have possibly any questions about singing? Well, I really do have a question oh. about singing. I, I, uh, I've always wanted to learn to sing well, but here in just a few days, I'm going to be 63 years old. Oh. I, I'm, I'm wondering, is it possible for an old geezer like myself? Oh, you look great. <laughs> to uh, learn how to sing well. Absolutely, singing is a learned thing. Really there are three components of singing um, and they're all learned. It's really just about breath and using the stomach muscles to support the sound. And then the, the other part is a little bit more complicated, being able to hear the pitches correctly and that just takes practice. Just like anything else, you have to just do it over and over and over again. That sounds easier than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it's just practice. You just have to practice, that's all. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate you stopping. Thanks. I think I see somebody coming now. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Excuse Hi. me. Hi. Yes. My Hi. name is Julia. Hi. What's your name? Mary. Hi, Mary. I'm sorry to bother you. Yes. I wonder if I could ask you a quick question. Sure. Okay. So we're out here today and we're asking people if they have any questions about singing. Singing. I'm a singing teacher and okay. wondered if you had any oh. questions, like if you ever could ask a voice sure. teacher a question. Um, well, I'm a big fan of Adele, actually. Ah. So I would love to sing. Oh, like uh, yeah, I love is Adele there, too. Is there a possibility that I can absolutely learn how to do that? Yes, absolutely. Yes. There's two things that you need in order to sing in a pop style. The first is you need to use your stomach muscles to sing instead of your throat. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So that that really bluesy. Ah, like that, right. that sound comes okay. from the gut. Did you see Dream Girls? Yes. Okay. When Jennifer Hudson sang that piece, she was bent over because she was really using her right. stomach. That's why. Okay. And then the second thing is, you really want to have the sound up, vibrating in your nose. So a really nasal sound, okay. as opposed to, oh, which okay. is more in your head. Right. So those two things, using your stomach okay. and really nasal, will give you a really pop sound. Oh. You could try it even on. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Right? It works on anything. Right. You want to try? Maybe not right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. And I'll practice. Thank you so much. Right. Nice to meet you. All Thank right. you so much. Bye. Great question. Thank you. In the 11 years I've been teaching, my main goal has been to help people solve vocal problems like these and many others. That's why I developed this method. It condenses the vocal process into three easy components. I call these components the three pillars of singing. And if you master these three pillars, you will become a pro level performer. Pillar one is breath. Pillar two is support or the holding in of air while singing. And pillar three is phonation or how and where the sound vibrates in the body. Let's take a look at each pillar and learn a basic exercise to start you on the path to mastering each one.